Hello, Transfiguration family. I am here with our wonderful Deacon Zeff, who's been with us for the summer. And uh, unfortunately, today is the last day of the summer, uh, last full day that he will be with us. Uh, Deacon Zeff will be heading back to the seminary tomorrow and then actually heading out to South Dakota for a while next week before he begins uh, his fourth year of theology at the seminary, all the way leading up to ordination Uganda next summer. And what I wanted to do today in just this very brief video is to speak with Deacon Zeff about his experience this summer, ask him a little bit about it, uh, and um, uh, learn a little bit more about this wonderful, wonderful man from Uganda. So uh, we're standing probably closer than we've ever stood together in our entire life uh, because, of course, of the filming situation. But lest anybody be concerned, uh, we live, we've lived together for the last summer. So uh, any kind of cross-contamination happened a long, long time ago. So Deacon... It's been a wonderful, wonderful summer. Thank you, Father. What has been your best part about being here in Transfiguration? There are many things that have been great for me during this summer. And one of them, I would say, you know, uh, pastoral work part of it was the most interesting part for me, especially, you know, getting a chance for me to do the baptism. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Who am I to, you know, save a soul? <laughs> yeah. Another interesting part for me, it was... Uh, visiting the nursing homes. Mm. It was also one of the best things that I enjoyed. Also, learning how to preach, especially preaching on Saturday. Yeah, with no people. With no people. Yeah. So I, I can entirely say that was something, you know, so interesting, a new experience to run about. Yes, now I, I, I've got to think, based upon what the little bit that I know about Uganda, and the church in Uganda, mm. you probably will never preach to an empty church in your life after absolutely, this summer. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, very, very big congregations. Well, a more challenging question, what's been the most difficult part of the summer? And, and give it to me honest, what's been the most hard part? The most hard part was, of course, you know, preaching in an empty church. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Understood. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was one of the hard things, but also helps me to grow in a special way, you know, to know there are some difficult moments in life mm -hmm. so we have to learn how to live with them amen very uh -huh. good excellent uh well you are not leaving transfiguration for good you uh you are part of the seminary program that brings you to transfiguration as we are your, what's called your teaching parish absolutely and uh so you'll be here the next you know the next nine months or so uh, tell me a little bit about what you hope to do in these next couple of months as you prepare for ordination here at transfiguration um for this coming mass months I will be coming here either in, during weekends I will get to do more like preaching mm -hmm. then I also every Wednesday or Tuesday I'll get a chance to do the nursing homes mm -hmm. if the situation allows then I'm also of course looking forward to to getting you people to see you again in, at church here that's one mm -hmm. of the things because I didn't get the chance to interact with you during this uh, summertime but I hope as things come on, the situation coming on well, I hope to be interacting with you people. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Good, very to. good. You've lived with Father Lynch and I now for, for two and a half months. And what's been the hard part? Or I, I, I mean, I, let me rephrase the question. What's been the highlights of living with uh, Father Erickson and Father Lynch? I think um, the highlight is you are people of God. Well, Great glad men. that's the way it looks. I mean, always make a cracking some jokes. It has been good and also I've enjoyed more, you know, getting trip with people who have had a good experience. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, me, what I've learned more about you more is like being more modeled to be like you have been like my mentors. Mm -hmm. It has been good. Like last, uh, last weekend, I went out to do the you know, uh, the street evangelization. Yes, exactly, Father Lynch, exactly. <laughs> Father Lynch, it was so amazing experience that I had yeah. not seen here in the U.S. That's great. So it was something great. And also, you know, the prayers we do, pray together to the rectory, having the meals together, it is something quite so substantial for me to learn from, you know. Good, well, it's, it's, been, a great, yeah. it's been a great gift for us, and, and we will miss you when you're gone. You know, it's, uh, I, have to, I have to say, I think that you know, the arrival of Father Lynch is such a gift for me personally and for the I'm parish, so but I also think it's been a great benefit to you because you've been able to see two very different priests 
uh, and aren't we different? We are very different, aren't we? Very different gifts, different charisms. Uh, but I'd like to think that we both could teach you something, and certainly we've learned from you too. So, um, but uh, but Deacon, so very grateful for all the gifts that you bring. Um, are you looking forward to going back to Uganda uh, to beginning your priestly ministry? Absolutely, with having this great experience, especially being able to get chance, you know, preach at the altar, you know, get served. All this, my, all this summer experience has kind of given me confidence, you know, to believe in myself, to trust in myself, which has been like a great gift for me that has, is going to push me more, especially during this one year I'm remaining with, then for priesthood I will be there very ready and very great. What if the bishop told you, Deacon Zeff, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but yeah. I'd like you to stay there for another six years. Would you be excited or would you be sad? Uh, so long as I'm staying on the high mountain here and there is no more winter. <laughs> oh man, good answer. Very good answer. Well, I highly doubt, I highly doubt that that will happen. Uh, both the part about it never being winter here, but also about the bishop calling and saying, yeah. because I'm sure he wants you back very yeah, much. So, yeah, Well, Deacon, sure. can you give us a blessing? But if you can give us your blessing in your native tongue. Okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. The Lord bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Deacon Zeph, may God bless you. We look forward to, uh, to working with you these next couple of months as well. Thank you, Father. Please pray for Deacon Zeph. You'll see him around. Good.